While you were eating an ice cream, have you ever thought about poking people with it? Good, otherwise you would have been weird. But let me show you what happens if you do think about that. You want to play this build right here. Soldier Boots, third spell, first passive. There are some swaps, hold your horses. This is just the default that I've been using and I've had some fun with it, honestly. You want to have Cultist Rope, third spell, first passive. You want to have Soldier Boots or any Plate Boots, second spell, second passive. You want to have Mist Caller as an offhand. Yeah, I wouldn't change this for anything. Some people are saying Leering Cane and I can understand why you would want to use that but i would say mist color you can never go wrong with cooldown reduction so mist color is a good thing then you want to have limb herscape and i'm going to give you some swaps for this and first and foremost the most important part the grandmaster frost staff uh, any frost staffs to be honest i would recommend this tier 6 so you have access to all abilities because as far as i know lower tiers don't have access to everything yeah i think tier 6 is the minimum yep so you want to have tier 6 so you have access to everything but regardless of what access you have you're going to use the third q as a default the third w and the first passive or the last passive depending on what you prefer so far i've loved using the first passive because i was higher ip than my enemies most of the times so they're running away from me this just helps me keep them at bay now let me explain each ability and uh, what it does first of all the q the q throws a freezing path along uh, the way along the target like looks like this that freezes enemies by slowing them and also deals damage to them you can do this it's a nice spam over it has a very long range and to be honest even though the range itself when you read it here might not be very impressive like 16 meters is not that impressive but because of the slow ramp up animation you actually end up having more range because look at this by the time i get over here this is actually the range that i'm having so let's say the opponent is targeting me and is chasing me i can just run away and throw this backwards while extending my range tremendously with this. That, that's kind of how you want to use this. Then you want to have this W. This is your main getaway. This offers you an iframe that's nearly impossible to hit if you have more than 50 ping. And, uh, oh no, not nearly impossible, actually impossible. Like you have 0.2 seconds to hit the iframe and with 100 ping you have 0.1 seconds of delay. So you literally have 0.1 seconds to hit this iframe. If you're not really lucky, you ain't hitting that or if you don't have low ping. On top of that, you also blink yourself gaining distance from your enemy and you stun. This is very important. It's not just a root, it's a stun. You can interrupt enemy spellcasting with this, which is great. And you sometimes want to use that for stuff like, let's say, curse staffs, for example talking about stunning and rooting and stuff like that this is the e one of the biggest e radius is in the i mean no, not really i think it's the biggest radius for frost staffs or for staffs in general it has a massive range it deals a ton of damage and the enemies that are in this uh, aoe are gonna get gradually frozen over 0.8 seconds as it says over there initially this is just gonna slow them but if they stood there for a second they're actually gonna be frozen rooted for 3.7 seconds using this in combination with your q can really mess up your opponent so let's say you want to catch somebody in your E, it's a very good idea to just drop your E, drop your Q, blink away. That's really gonna slow them and probably they're gonna be stuck in there for a while. Then you wanna have this R, this makes it so you heal up, this is the rope that you have, you heal up energy and HP and it's one of the main reasons why I'm thinking that you might also be able to swap the limb herscape even though it's usually the default for most people. For the helmet you wanna have this, it looks like this and while this cast goes on you are immune to everything i don't think yeah you're immune to damage and immune to all crowd control effects so you can really mess up certain builds with this you can mess up let's say double bladed staffs you can mess up stuns you like you can really mess people up with this because for example even if you're fighting let's say bolt casters and they have the silencing w you can interrupt that i mean you can counter that by using this so it's really really good. as far as i know correct me if i'm wrong and then you want to have your F, which uh, increases your movement speed, like any other F, and it also heals you over time for 140. Now, let me tell you some uh, some swaps. First of all, you can swap this with Fiend Cowl if you are dedicated on ganking. You can swap this with Cowl of Purity if you are dedicated on dealing more damage, or you can swap this with, let's say, Cultist Cowl or Hunterhood. I would recommend Cultist Cowl over Hunterhood, though Hunterhood is cheaper, so I understand if you go with it, for, um, again, general purpose. So the two general purpose options Options, you have soldier helmet and hunter hood or cleric uh, or coldest cow the ganking option would be fin cow and the pure dps glass cannon option would be cowl of purity now for the cape i did stick to limb cape for all of the fights that we're about to see right now you people watching this on youtube but i almost never used it i almost never used limb cape so even though i think it's nice that you have it on you 
just for safety reasons because maybe you swap to this Q and this Q actually eats up a little bit more energy because it has a much lower cooldown like I don't know but I'm gonna be honest if I could go back in time I would actually swap this with Tedford Cape it might be a little bit risky because sometimes you might want to swap to this Q. For example, if you're fighting against another Frost Staff, it's a good idea to swap this just so you deal more DPS. But as you can see, your energy will go down much faster if you do this. With this ability though, you shouldn't really struggle with that. Even though they cost the same amount of energy, the cooldown is nearly tripled. So that's why uh, that's why you don't consume as much energy. Tedford Cape, I think, would be a nice option. Even Matro Cape, I think, would be a, a nice option for this. And ultimately, you cannot go wrong with something like Undead Cape. Even though I don't think I've ever seen a Frost Staff with Undead Cape, I've always seen them with Limhurst Cape. That's why I kind of defaulted on this. And I'm not entirely sure because, guys, even though I'm showcasing this build, I am not by any means pretending to be an expert on this. This is how much of an expert I am on Frost Staffs. So I'm just showcasing this build and I'm trying it. It's basically a first impression more than anything. It's basically a build that I know it's popular. I'm just doing a first impressions on it. So those were my first impressions. Oh. I might not be able to catch up. I thought he was AFK. <laughs> it was kind of chill over there. That's why I like this Q. It slows them down. Like, look at how well you can stick to a target with this. You have all the mobility in the world. Let's go! 400k in the back, my friends. In the back. Oh, boys, I'm about to get an easy kill. Block, 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 block. Okay, that was, that was really close. Whoo! I need to heal up. That was a tough fight. Man, you've seen it here, boys. The build works. Like, that guy stood no chance. Look at him. Easy kill. Was I frozen? Now, nah, see, that's the problem. I don't have the, the damage that I need to take this guy down. So he's just going to be able to walk out. I think he panicked. Oh, no, he didn't. He's actually keeping himself recomposed here. Just attack. I want him to attack once. Nah, he didn't attack. Ah, he kept himself. See, that's the trick. Honestly, that is the trick to escaping gankers most of the time. Just keep yourself calm. Look at what you can do and try to do it in a calm manner. Because if you're panicking, you're just going to get yourself killed either way. So might as well just think with a sober mind about the options that you might have. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 panic, 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 <laughs> panic, <laughs> it's an end part three. Right, boys, I cannot believe that I was not ganked by the 8.3, but I'm very happy about that. See, I, I kept myself calm. That's important. Come on, look, I'm wasting stuff. I'm wasting stuff on you. Look, 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 I'm, I'm missing. I'm, do I, do I miss more? No, I, let me dismount you, actually. Okay, that one I didn't actually mean to miss. Need to be somewhat careful. Why did you bong the squall, man? What did the squall do to you? Why did you have to bong the squall?
trying to discourage him from fighting right now because he cannot run. He cannot run right now. But I need to make sure that he cannot use his mercenary jacket, so I need to start keeping stuff for that. Why are you attacking the mob? <laughs> he really panicked over here, boys. You're not getting out of this stinky one, boy. Boy, you're not getting out of this stinky one. Oh yeah, he missed the exit, and he's still in combat though. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! No, no, <laughs> no! Is this build meta again? Oh, I see. He's gonna be obnoxiously following me around everywhere. I think he is. Pretty sure he is. I'm, I'm curious to see the determination chat. What do you think? How how sweaty do you think this guy is? 1v1. Oh yeah, sure. Like you have like 400 more IP than me, but I don't mind. It's basically fair 1v1. <laughs> right? I'm actually curious to see how long he's going to follow me. Like I'm just going to move around. Not leaving yet, but I'm curious to see how long he will follow me. I don't think he will become self-aware, chat. I don't. Th I don't think he will realize. Oh, I, I think right now he's sitting at his monitor and he's like, "Do we fight?" He's like, "Oh, fight now!" Oh, no fight! Oh, fight now! Oh, no fight! Oh, fight now! Oh, no fight! Oh, he wants to fight now! Oh, no, no, he doesn't want to fight. Oh no, look, he wants to fight in this mountain. Oh no, no, he doesn't want to fight. Oh no, he wants to what? Fight? No, no fight. Oh, we, we're fighting now? Oh no, 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 no fight. Oh no, 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 no fight. No. Oh, look, he's dismounted. I think he wants to fight. No, no, no fight, no fight, no. Oh, oh, I, I thought. Uh, 1v1? Oh, 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 no, 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 1v1. No, no, no. Oh, what? Now we fight? Oh, look, we want to fight. Oh no, 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 no fight. He, he baited. Oh no. No fight! Oh, oh, he dismounted! Oh, no, no, no fight, no fight. Oh, no, I thought, I thought we fight. No fight? Oh, oh, we, oh, uh, I thought we... I think, I think I can keep him like that. I think I can keep him busy for the whole day, boys. <laughs> I think I can keep him busy for the whole day, honestly. Don't be a rat. Please don't be a rat. Come on. I don't know why this guy wants to fight me. Perfect, come on. Come on, through the entryway you go. Oh, come on! <laughs> I think he's starting to regret some of the choices he's made. Ah. At least he's in combat. I need to... G oh, there's a rat. I think there's a rat among us. Yeah, we have a rat. We have a rat. Disengage time. Oh. Is this the same guy from before?
<laughs> you win met again? You win meet again, my friends. Watch us play live on twitch.tv slash Mogdan. We decided to finally launch Patreon after seeing so many people willing to help us out. So if you want to help us out, if you want to support our content, please consider joining our Patreons by accessing the link in the description down below. It truly helps us out a lot and we really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. We love you all.